Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I'll be showing you how to create a random image generator. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we will be creating today. We have a round rect button at the top that simply says random image. And although you can't see it, but there is an image view just here underneath it. So every time we hit our button, a image will be generated. So it's at random and some may repeat over and over. But that's what we're going to be creating today. So already I have my project set up. It's a simple single view application and it's simply named random image for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is go to our view controller.h and simply add the outlet for our image view and the action for our button. So if I zoom in for you now, just after the UI view controller, do a curly bracket and press enter. Now start by typing IB outlet UI image view space asterisk. And I simply name the image view image view. So it's really easy to understand when we come to the coding. And now we add our action. So we do dash bracket IB action bracket. And I simply name it random image button. Just make sure you have the correct capitals and lowercase for the action there so it comes up in the pink color. And after the random, after you've named the action button, do a semicolon. And now we can save that. If you want to pause the video and catch up on those two outlets and the action. So now if I just zoom out, we're going to go into our view controller.m where we'll add all the code in now for our images to be randomly displayed. So just have a view control then implementation. I'm going to hit enter a few times so we have a bit of room so it's easier to see the code when I'm typing it out. So now the first thing we need to do is add our action button. So we type in dash bracket IB action bracket and we named it random image button. New space, curly bracket and press enter. And then we start by doing our random image generator code now. So we do int space and name it random image jizz. So it's different from our image view. Space equals space rand. We want the two brackets there. Space percentage sign and then space again. And now you put the number of the amount of images that you are going to randomly generate. So in this tutorial, I'm doing four images all together. So I'll just simply put the number four and then do semicolon. Now we do space, we do switch. And then in the expression of switch, we simply put in the name of which we put our int, which was random images. So there we go. In the case, we start with case zero. So just put in number zero there. And in the statement is now the code we want to display. Well, the code we want for our image to display, sorry. So we do image view dot image space equal sign space bracket capital UI image space image named and in the NS string here you do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark a bracket and a semicolon. Now in between the two quotation marks here will be the name of our the file of our image which we haven't imported off images yet, so we'll come back to that in a moment. So now if you want to copy from the break all out to the case, and now paste in four of these on individual lines, and then change it from one, two, and then three. So you have zero, one, two, and three. So basically what it's doing now, when you hit the button, is it's going to randomly generate one of the cases, and we have four all together, which we showed here. So we randomly generate one of these, which will display an image in our image view. So now if I just zoom out, and on the desktop here, I have the four image files which I'm going to be using. I simply named them lemon one, lemon two, lemon three, and lemon four. So if I just highlight those and simply drag those into our project, make sure you check that copy items to destinations group folder, just in case you need them later on in your project, and then press finish. And then once they're imported, We'll zoom back into our code and then in the first, in between the two quotation marks first, we'll type in the first name 
of our file, which will be lemon1.png. We need the file extension, and all my images are in PNG format. For you, there can be anything from JPEG or anything else. It doesn't really matter, as long as they're images. So the second one is lemon2.png. The third one, lemon3.png. And finally, the fourth one, lemon4.png. And we can save that, and if you want to pause the video now, and catch up on all the code in there. Right now, I'll zoom out, and we're going to our viewcontroller.xib, our interface builder. We will now place in our round rec button. I'll create the layout similar to what we created in the iPhone simulator. There we go. So, random image. And now we just find our image view. And now you can drag this to size to any size you possibly want, just in these settings here. If you've got the mode here in view, put it to aspect fit. This means the images will fit in the image view into proportion so they won't be stretched or out of size or anything like that. So it's the best way. So now if we save that there, now go into our files owner and link up all our connections. So our image view, simply to our image view, and our random image button action to our button. Now you can do something simple like touch up inside if you want the users to have the option to drag their finger off if they don't want to press down the button or simply touch down. I'm going to say touch down as it's what I commonly use in the, all the tutorials. So now once we've done that we can simply save that, go straight to build and run and there should be no errors as the code is all set out perfect. So we just wait now for the iPhone simulator to load. Okay then, so now once it's loaded, we have our button, our image view here, not currently displaying any images. So when we hit it, it will randomly generate between our four cases and display an image. Now as the images are in proportion, they don't stretch and they're all in, in their ratio sizes. So if we carry on hitting the button, it will change. Sometimes it may repeat as it's repeating the case because it's there's only four to choose from, so you might commonly repeat the same one again. Or if we just keep pressing it, and there we have it randomly generating an image out of the four images we have chosen. So that's simply how you create a random image generator. I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. If you like this video, please thumbs it up, favorite it. Leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials or if you want to give us any feedback on how we can improve our tutorials. But most importantly, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and also make sure you go check out our apps which are currently on the App Store. All the links will be in the description below. But well, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Hey guys, Aaron here. Please support us by liking us on Facebook, following us on Twitter and checking out all our apps by simply searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And make sure you visit our website where we have a full list and full source code for all our tutorials. And visit our blog, forums and all the other great features we have to offer on our website.